video of the activities of Russian Marines and DPR troops in the Lvovberezhny district, Mariupol. Mikhailo Podolyak, an advisor to the head of the president's office in Ukraine, suggested that Russia negotiate specifically on Azovstal. Declare an armistice over Easter in Mariupol immediately provide humanitarian corridors for civilians agree to a special round of negotiations for a prisoner exchange. Previously, President Putin had rejected the armistice agreement during Easter. Brief information on special military operations of the Russian Defense Forces. Precision strikes destroyed a military explosives factory near Pavlorad. The Russian Air Force removed the observation point of the Ukrainian battalion and 25 soldiers in armored groups, up to 150 soldiers, up to 40 armor and vehicles. The precision strikes of the Russian Air Force eliminated the brigade command point of Ukrainian forces, four positions and clusters, four weapons depots around Barvankovo. Nova Dmitrivka and Ivanivka Kharkiv Oblast missiles and artillery hit 26 battle rooms, 367 positions and groups, 25 artillery positions. Four Ukrainian armories and ammunition destroyed around Husarivka and Belika Komyshivaka Kharkiv Oblast, Russian air defense shot down 10 UAVs. American mercenaries in Ukraine ask for money for ammunition and food on Instagram. They complained in a post that the Kyiv government had neglected to support them. There's no large-scale organization here, chaos. Americans say they themselves have to pay for food and fuel. Everything is missing, including cars and thermal underwear. They ask subscribers to donate money to them to purchase equipment. Regarding the active use of UAVs by Russian armed forces units in the Nikolaev Kherson direction, Ukraine has deployed the Bukovol ADR-4 electronic warfare complex in the Luparevo settlement area. The Bukovol ADR-4 uses a passive drone navigation and detection system. The effective radio suppression range is up to 20 kilometers. The time to deploy the complex to the combat state is 2 minutes. The mortar battery of the 93rd Special Operations Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces was destroyed in the direction of Donetsk. Long-range high-precision weapons destroyed the fuel production facilities of an oil refinery on the northern outskirts of the city of Kremenchug. During the night, Six Ukrainian military installations were hit by rockets, including three bases and places for personnel and military equipment, as well as three ammunition depots in the BARVNKOVO and Ovaya DMITROVKA districts of the Kharkiv region. Russian Aerospace Forces attacked 56 Ukrainian military facilities, among them two command posts, 53 areas of concentration of enemy personnel and military equipment, as well as a fuel depot near the settlement Novaya Dmitrovka. Up to 160 soldiers were destroyed, along with 23 armored vehicles, artillery and other vehicles. The missile forces carried out 19 strikes overnight, destroying targets for headquarters of the Ukrainian far-right force, including the base of the 81st Ranger Airborne Brigade and the Territorial Defense Brigade. Number 1103 Ammunition Depots 21 Areas of Concentration of Manpower and Military Equipment of Ukraine Russian artillery completed 967 fire missions, attacked and destroyed 33 command posts, 929 strong points, areas for accumulation of manpower and equipment, as well as five arsenals. Ammunition of missiles and artillery. Russian air defense systems shot down 13 Ukrainian drones over the settlements of Mezhurino, Balakleya, Borodoyarkoye, Nevskye of the Kharkiv region, as well as High and Chernobyevka of the Kherson region. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
please like and follow my page.